Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team, yeah, are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Our readings are $44.44, okay? Like this video, like this video, like this video. If you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, go ahead and hit me up, y'all, okay? dftarot at Cash App or PayPal. Y'all, listen, we're going to answer some major questions on today. Um, somebody, this is what I'm getting, y'all, okay? Before, <clears throat> there was someone that a feminine was in love with, okay? Um, I believe that previously, the relationship that y'all had, it just never materialized. This man may have going in a direction with another woman. You may have gone in a direction with someone else yourself. Um, okay. So you're kind of, there, there was a heartbreak situation here previously. You guys just didn't get off the ground for whatever reason. However, at this particular time, you are wondering if, okay, it will happen this time. Somebody is, I'm hearing the word adore. Okay, you really adored this person. You was really crazy about this person. And there is still a part of you that is wondering if y'all can be. Okay, um, so we want to look and see, is this something that is like star-crossed? Y'all didn't have y'all chance and you never will. Or is this something that is just a matter of timing? Okay, so does this somebody you still carry a great deal of love in your heart for this person? Okay, Ten of Cups is on the bottom of the deck there. And that is, and so is the Empress here, okay? So you got a lot of love for this person. So the question that we're looking into now is, is this a relationship that does come to fruition? Or is this something that's just over and done, okay? And the heartbreak will live on inside. Okay, is it one of those? Or is it a situation where, you know, sometimes we just have to wait a little later in life for something to happen, Okay. King of Cups, please believe uh, this masculine does have a lot of emotions for you. This isn't somebody that has forgotten you or doesn't have the love for you or doesn't have the understanding. He most definitely does. Okay, we see the Ace of Swords. And then we see the Four of Pentacles. Um, this is a masculine that has a great deal of care for you. He may even see you in a familiar way, and that is the absolute truth. Okay, Um this man is in a position now where he may be holding on to whatever wealth or feminine energy he has acquired in his life already. Um, even though this, okay, you need to know something about this man, girl. <clears throat> this man is holding on to somebody and chasing people. So you might not realize this man has gotten to a place where he's he's a little too friendly, okay? I'm going to tell you that right out the gate. If you were looking for him to just step in and be this divine masculine energy, he's not in that space. That's just, I'm just, I, I ain't finna even hold you. Um, this man is not necessarily in that space at this time, okay? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups energy with the Seven of Wands. The Six of Wands, okay? And the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this man is out here doing, doing, doing quite a bit. There's still a lot of emotion that you have for him. And that's not going to go anywhere. Just so you know, you're going to continue to have that energy for him towards him, okay? Um, we see the Six of Wands coming through here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, there is still a chance for victory in your relationship with this masculine though. Okay. There is still room for that. Six of swords. But in order for that to happen, in order for y'all to actually get somewhere in this relationship, there has to be a shift. There has to be a change. Um, something has to change. Six of swords energy. There has to be a change. Okay. Ten of wands. With the fool. You know, the change has to come from this masculine. He would really have to stand up and stand on.
the love that y'all have and he would really have to go ahead and jump into it this man is not really trying to jump all the way into a relationship i'm gonna tell you that right now he is not looking to jump all the way into anything and it is not personal this man likes to just fly by the seat of his pants and do whatever okay we see the eight of cups with the nine of pentacles um walking into a serious relationship and really making an offering like really embracing all that you have to give and planting those seeds okay um because that's what you want cards just falling out all over the place y'all hold on that's what you want okay and that is what you desire um is like the full you want the full plate you want the full everything you want it all okay you're not coming to play no games with it okay you might need to slow down and think about this okay we pull slow down out the deck you might want to slow down and think about this slow down okay seahorse family matters okay hold on okay and we see violet faithfulness and modesty modesty is a shining light that prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart for truth okay madam guizat um that's a quote from madam guizat okay now listen here you want him to make these plans okay to to come through and give you like give you what you're worth give you what you're supposed to have okay which is this ten of cups okay that fell out and found us just a moment ago you want it all you want the fullness of it you really want to see what it can be um you feel like you you know i'm a good woman like i'm i'm respectful i'm in you know virtuous woman energy you know we're taking it to proverbs with that okay you feel like there's just no reason why i would not be the proper fit hello what else we got the high priestess okay that's where you're at you feel like you're a family woman um you feel like you have what it takes and it's very hurtful for you and it's been hurtful to you that this man has not stepped into your energy and truly embraced it and brought it into his life because you're like i just who wouldn't want some of this okay that's where you're at because you know you operate in divine feminine energy but we i ain't forgot there was slow down here like you may be you may be moving too fast or thinking too fast and we're gonna look into why in just a moment but in order for you to really like get what you want out of all of this this man feels like you're asking him to to betray some other part of his life or a part of himself okay so now we see why you need to slow down you need to slow down because the way you feel and the way you want it is something else going on on this on the other side of the fence where this man is okay and we're gonna look into that spirit spirit okay what is going on, on the other side of this fence honey okay something is going on baby on the other side of this fence there is a goings on um some kind of way for some reason this man is like nah this will come between what? What is going to come between? Page of Cups. Okay, hold on now. We're getting this tea. Page of Cups and Five of Cups. This man thinks that if he gets into him, I'm going to make it plain. Um, gets into a Page of Cups with you. You're going to have to let go of his hold. I know. I know. You did, That's not the answer you was looking for, but it is the answer. Five of Cups, this man thinks he's going to have to let go of his Three of Cups energies, okay? This man got a few little friends, okay? He does not want to let his friends go. Um, Some of these friends, I'm hearing they're very good to him, okay? He doesn't have any long-term plans, but he likes to date. He likes to dilly-dally. We saw that up here. This man is thinking, you know, hey... He want to be able to force source energy. He want to still be able to play around out here. This is very childish. This is very immature. This man still wants to be able to play. A lot of this has to do, okay? A lot of this has to do with the fact that this masculine likes the way other women make him feel. You understand? The way they look at him. It's a big part of it. This is just about attention. This is very childish. This man doesn't want to give up the attention that he's still able to get from women outside. Okay, two of swords. This man is not as mature as you are. That's obvious. So, slow down. 
Warning, there's a maturity issue present here. Okay, two of swords. Um, yeah, there's at least three other women involved, but his door is always open. I ain't finna lie to you. What's getting in the way of you and this man is this womanizer energy that you have going on, okay? That he has going on. You understand me? That you have going on in this reading, okay? But that he has going on. This man, he's, he's immature. Knight of Cups. The Magician. And the Hanged Man. This man's career out here, being a ladies' man, is actually about to come to a close. Um, and it's coming to a close energetically. I don't, I don't believe he's ever going to close it. This man is his 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 old his player days are about to come to an end. Okay, nine of cups. His player days are about to come to an end. Um, yeah, this man is about is everything's about to come to a little halt, come to a little close. Um, hmm, we see stalled fulfillment. This man about to have to come up off all this. You know, sometimes God have to stop these, these dudes from being players. Ain't that a shame? Why you can do it on your own, okay? I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13, okay? Talk about some timing, okay? May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 115 and 15. This, this man really is going to have to come through some things where he's going to have to mature. You, on the other hand, you're going to have to look into yourself for strength, look into yourself for prayer to get more in touch with God. Because somebody out here, I think he was really kind of pulling for this masculine. This masculine is very immature. And what we are seeing here is that life itself is about to have to get him together. Okay, he's not going to learn it nowhere else. Life is going to have to put the brakes on him. That's how childish he is. He's staying in his boyhood too long is what I'm hearing. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty, Psalm 91 and 1. However, you on the other hand have been in a divine feminine energy. He has been out here resting in his karmic masculine. And I'm going to tell you, karmic masculine is going to kick. He's going to get kicked out the club. Y'all know how it is. These old dudes that life have to retire their jersey because they don't have sense enough to know when it's time to come in the house. So this is a situation where overall this man is about to get retired. Okay. He about to get put out the league. It ain't going to be about what he want. It is just about to be what's going to happen. Okay. Nine of pentacles. Um, and I, I got to cover this card up cause it's a little racy. Okay. Nine of pentacles energy. This man is going to take, it's like he, he tries to keep a piece of you. Okay. He's been holding on to a piece of you. That's why you still feel this energy. Okay. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14 and 27. The peace of you that you have, of this man, is actually going to be one that is a weakness for him. We see wildflower energy. Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. Let me tell you something. This is the prayer you need to pray because somebody, I feel like there's a lot of heartache in this situation for you. You need to really put yourself in a position with God where you're saying the peace of your heart that this masculine has, you need to ask that God fill it up with him or fill it up with something else, period. Um, because this man is, he's so childish. You know, it's not an energy coming from him where you really feel that he would be capable of giving you exactly what it is you're looking to get, okay? Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. Um, that's what you represent for him, the crack in the concrete. Somebody that he is like weak for, soft for, but it has not stopped him from playing these games, okay? We see beauty, dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. These are things this man would have to learn to be. He doesn't have any of this. He's sitting there weak for you, but he's not doing anything about it. It's just, he's childish. So wait, somebody you've been feeling like, I gotta, I gotta get on this. No, you don't. You need to wait. You need to fall back. Prosperity and compassion. Focus on the things that God has already blessed you with. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. OK, you want this man, but it is highly possible. Remember, spirit says slow down that when you got him, you would not want him. 
He's not ready to grow up. He's going to have to literally have karma sling him out into the streets and force him to grow up. And we'll say that again. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. Okay. You have things that are already in your life that already provide love, that already provide happiness. Focus on those things. Okay. Focus on those things. Um, so we see elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Okay. Um, have some patience. You know, allow things to play out as best they can. Okay. So we see preserve and influence. Okay. You want to just fall back. Preserve your energy, not go too far with this because there are actually phases of emotional development that he's about to go through, okay? We see Father Christmas, no worries at all, okay? Don't worry about this, don't stress about this. If this is a season of transformation for that masculine and that's between him and God. There wasn't going to be anything that you could do to kind of pull him back to you because he hasn't transformed into the type of man that you would want, Okay, you want him, but girl, he not, he not ready. He not ready. Sweet thoughts. Okay, pray you love, remember, and there are pansies. That's for thoughts. Okay, pray you love, remember, and there are pansies. That's for thoughts. Okay, sweet thoughts. Think of the beautiful things. Think of sweet things. Okay, pray for love. Pray that you do love. Always remember love. Okay, don't get caught up on that. You want him. He's your number one that you want. You may not have had any other desire but to be with this man. But we see the snake here. This is Seven of Swords energy. Competition. Enemy. Clever. Malicious. Looking over your shoulder. The other woman. This is what life with him would be like. You want him. And you're feeling like you're on the outside and you want to be on the inside having him. This is what the inside is like. The inside is I'm competing with people. The inside is I don't know who my enemies are because he's he could be sleeping with people we'd sitting here talking to. The inside is he's actually clever and good at this. The inside is malicious. He ain't making a fool out of you by being out here in the street for no reason. Okay, looking over your shoulder. You know, who is this? Do they know me? Are they sleeping with my husband? Okay, the other woman. Who is that looking over here at me? Why is she looking at me like this? Girl, a life like this, a life living with a man like this, you will end up with your mental health shot. Paranoid, delusional. Okay, gaslighting yourself into trying to stay in this nonsense. This man ain't ready. It's an immature man that has set up and emotionally abused a woman like this instead of going off on his own being a single freak. Okay, tangling some woman up in his nonsense. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him. Psalm 95 and 4. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46 and 10. Girl, this, listen what God is telling you right now. You better keep your eyes and your energy fixed on what it belong on and quit worrying about this man because he don't know what he's doing. He out here betraying the people that love him for no good reason. Okay? We see Sulis, bodies of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries, a.k.a. protect your emotions, charge your emotions, and pray to God that he brings rest to your emotions because whoever is in a relationship with this man or one of them or six of them or the main girl or the girl outside her life has been hell their life has been hell you don't know it because you was never in that position with him this man does not make nobody happy okay this man is a plague like locusts okay because of the emotional turmoil that he brings to any woman's life I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he is right beside me. Psalm 16 and 8. The Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Psalm 84 and 11. Okay. Know that no good thing would be withheld. I want, I'm going to read that again for somebody. Somebody in here. Y'all didn't hear me though. The Lord God, okay, is a sun and shield. The Lord God will give grace and glory. No good thing uh, will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Psalm 84 and 11. No good thing. No good thing 
So if he's withholding it, what is it? Because he say he don't withhold a good thing. So if it's not coming to pass, what is it? Because he say he don't withhold a good thing. So what is it? Could it be this snake? Because if he don't withhold a good thing, seem like he would withhold a snake. Oh, fool for thought. Star, okay? Follow the stars for they know best. Pause on that. Not too light, not too dark, a shimmer of what is coming next, okay? Know that there's something you've seen, heard, that gives you a glimmer of what's coming next. Maybe you don't want to see it. Maybe you don't want to believe it. Girl, you get with this man, it ain't going to be... It ain't going to be all that you thought it was going to be. We see this unlikely energy around it. Star, unlikely, baby. That's, that's not where the lights is at, okay? God say he don't withhold no good thing. Ain't no ain't no star energy over there. Star, that's Aquarius, okay? He, he can't get it together. He out here roaming the streets, okay? And can't stop. Don't stop, okay? Youthful love, ah, yes. Somebody is hopelessly, helplessly in love with this, this masculine, though, okay? Twin flame energy. Youthful love, okay? If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. Okay, Claudia Adrian Grandi, okay? Twin flame. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. So somebody has a deep soul tied to this man. And I'm telling you, girl, this man, girl, this man ain't ready for nothing. He ain't ready for the world, I'll tell you that. Power animal. Your animal spirit is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Please continue to pray and know that you have your spirit team behind you. The Lord bless you and keep you, okay? The Lord make his face. I had to sing that in high school. I know I didn't say that before here. Makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, okay? I was in the alto section. No, I wasn't. I'm lying. I was a second soprano because my teacher was trying to train me out of being an alto. Okay. I was over there with them second sopranos. Upon you. You know, they, they, y they had you stressed out over there in them second sopranos. Number six and 24 to 25. Okay. Engagement and marriage. Okay. This is what you want. But baby, let me tell you something right here, right now. If you want engagement or marriage from this man, you're going to have to pay for it. Mm, look at spirit unveiling mysteries on tonight. You're going to have to pay. Pay what you owe. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. You don't owe nothing. Divine feminine energy, modest, believe in spirit. The Lord been withholding it from you. Okay? Divine feminine all over you. We done seen all types of divine feminine energy. Nine of pentacles are carrying on. So what is it you paying? Let me tell you what you paying. This man punishes. It's as clear as day right here. Twin flame energy or not. They're dark twin flames. Some twin flames come in. And I don't even want to say dark because that speaks more to transformation. Okay, but negative twin flame. Okay, y'all have this energy, but I get the vibe that who this man has become. Because sometimes we, especially long-term connections like this one, we we might have formed a, a, a bond with a person, but see, life is a journey. And that soul could have been through different things. They ain't really quite the best fit. For you as they have grown or aged or went through different experiences where life has changed them. And we see pay what you owe. You have to pay to be with this man. I ain't talking money. You have to pay to be with this man. You receive what you put out. Karma is just another word for lesson. You're going to have to pay and get the karmic lesson because somebody out there, I'm trying to tell you, we saw it back here when we saw... It's one thing to have what you want. It's another thing to have. It's another thing to want what you have. It's another thing to have what you want. Okay, so dealing with this man. 
You want him so bad, but you're not thinking it's a price that come with being with this man. Sounds like your mental health is the price. Let me, let me remind y'all. Sounds like your mental health is the price based on this seven of swords energy. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now, we've seen this message twice. Somebody need to go to the Lord and pray down some of this and, and figure out what's going on. Because I'm telling you, you want to get engaged. Somebody you so in love with this man, you want to get engaged. The married him, baby, it will cost you. It will cost you. This ain't going to be no easy, peaceful situation. You're going to have to come outside of that divine feminine energy, okay? Period. You're going to have to take take a whole nother leap, leap of faith, baby. Take a risk. You, you want to take a risk, sis? You want to take a risk? If you want to take a risk, go on, keep talking to him. If maybe if you believe. See, somebody is naive. Somebody is naive. You done seen all the red flags around this man. And you done seen all the women. And you like, you know, when you wish upon a star. Okay, somebody is over there being very naive. Makes no difference who. Yes, it does. And then wish your heart desire, your dreams come true. Baby, you better quit letting Disney send. Disney sent a lot of women off. Disney sent a lot of girls off. Women was out here giving up their voice for a man to get some feet to go look at a man on land. And y'all was talking about, ooh, y'all better quit letting Disney send y'all off. Don't do it. They Disney have us out here bad, won't she? And I had the only real, real woman in the in the in the movie. They gonna tell you she a witch. She a dirty witch at that. <laughs> y'all better quit. Don't let Disney do y'all like that. You have to stand up for yourself. Slap Walt Disney upside his head, okay? Go ahead, Black Walt Disney eye. We ain't got time for that mess. What I just say? Well, I, y'all think I be playing? Lilac, first emotions of love. Love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat. Ben Heck, that's a quote by Ben Heck. Slap Ben Heck too. Don't be letting these people send you out. Love saves every, ooh, baby, love, girl. Girl, love will kill you. Girl, love will have you out here running for your life. Someone please call 911. Don't be letting love. Don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Tell the mind just got yeah, you be shot down out here. Time about you running the like rude awakening. <laughs> Things fall apart to make way for a sturdier foundation. Rude girl, you're gonna get a rude awakening over there with that man. Talking about oh love. You gonna be out there, girl, please. Girl, please. The chaser. Girl, you will end up chasing this man. Chaser in a codependent relationship with a fear of abandonment. Holding on to that man for dear life. I'm literally seeing this man going to the door with his little party clothes on and you on his ankle because you ain't going to be able to stop him from being in the house. I told you God got to stop him from going down them streets. God got to stop that man from going out here in these streets, baby. You can't do nothing about it. The good Lord. Got to strike, got to strike. You know, and, and when God get a man out the streets, I want y'all to pay attention because it be it be hard. Okay? Like God got Rick James out the street. You understand what I'm saying? Like it was like he went to prison. Okay? God got nature boy out the streets. <laughs> Life. Okay? Temperature like a hundred. Listen. When God get a man out the streets. Because they got all the time in the world to find the Lord wise up. He always sends divine feminine energies to him, dark feminine energy energy to him to either pray for him or transform him. He just sent, he just sent both. He just sent everybody, baby. He just sent Rosa Parks. He just sent Coretta Scott King. He just sent Gloria Gaynor over there. Just why not? Let's send Gloria. He just sent everybody he could find. He just sent Sharon Stone, baby. He just sent everybody. But he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to listen to Selma Hayek. He didn't want to listen to nothing. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to hear nothing from Florida Evans. Nobody. And once he didn't deny all of these divine feminines that have tried to nurture him, his own mama, his own grandma, trying to love him, trying to bring him back, you're going to come out of that karmic sinful lifestyle. 
You're gonna get you're gonna get snatched out. But Bobby Brown got snatched out. We found out that before Whitney was gone, he was crawling up on that lady porch that he married to now. Go and listen to the story. He'll tell you, baby, crawled up on the lady line, toe off and drunk, and she had to drag him in the house. That's how she ended up getting with him. I ain't lying. It's in the movie. You don't believe me? Okay. When God pull a man out the street, sometimes it's a little funny. You shouldn't laugh, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right so girl you will end up in a situation where you chasing this man i'm gonna tell you why okay look at this the car is gonna tell us why pop goes the mischief but i'm gonna tell you why girl you end up chasing him because you had such high hopes and when you go into a relationship with a real sweetheart like that and you start to see it's not going right that can take you to a really 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 tough place you know what i'm saying all jokes aside, that's hard on a person because I really love you. I really believe, you know, you come into this with this Disney heart. Okay. All jokes aside, like you believe you with your Prince Charming, I finally got him. And then the realization that this man is just, you know, I got to bring him back up a snake. He out here in seven of swords, energy, plot and plan and making your life difficult. That can be so hard to swallow to accept you know what i'm saying that this man ain't nothing and it's heartbreaking and that's how you end up now you're you're chasing him because you just are like i cannot i can't believe it you know so your desperation in your heart to keep the foundation of what you've always believed really can put somebody i'm serious in a desperate energy that's going to be a rude awakening now here you are practically chasing this man out into the street Okay, because he ain't, we see, God gonna have to slap him out the streets now. Beastly ballerinas, and once again, we see three. This is still that three of cups energy. This man wants to be outside playing with low vibrational energies. It just is what it is. Okay, um, we see now here on this card, we basically have the king of swords, um, kind of slicing a snake in half, okay? So know that this man is not going to allow you to sneak around. You ain't going to be able to do nothing, baby. You're going to be under 100% surveillance and control. But he going to be out here doing him, though. Okay? This man is coming back to you. <laughs> Spirit say, I won't let you know. This man is going to call you back. I just gave you a picture of what... Because see, somebody, you're going to be so happy when he called back. You're going to be like, yes, this is proof that it's supposed to be forever. There's a price to be paid to be with this man. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. Okay? You're going to hear from him soon. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. John 15 and 9. Baby, this man love you. It ain't like he don't love you. But you got to trust somebody to be who they're going to be. It's not about them not loving you. They love you as in they, as in them. So they're going to love you. The way they love. And if that person has issues and challenges and they can't come in from outside, that's what you're going to end up dealing with, okay? Period. We're seeing this five of swords energy come right through here on this card, okay? This man likes women, baby, and he ain't finna stop liking them for you, okay? So betrayal is part of the conversation, okay? Knight of swords. You also need to know, y'all, these cards is racing now. Y'all also need to know, okay, knight of swords energy, there are women that submit to this man, okay? So there are some women that are going to be okay with what's going on. This man also may have some activities that you don't know he's into. Um, he may be somebody that is into like getting watched, you know, doing kinky things, okay? He may also be a dom to someone and you don't even know. This man may have a submissive, like a little slave. You don't know nothing about it, Okay? Yeah, this man is into, he's, he's got like kinks. He actually would try to be possibly like a dom or a daddy figure to you. So there is some, some kind of like sexual vulnerabilities he would want you to show to him. Okay, and that was a chariot. I have a balanced relationship with time. I use time well. Also understand this is where this man is, is, is emotionally dangerous. He knows how to use time. You know them players that 
they are supposed to be with somebody, but they keep being late because they with another woman. No, he knows how to handle his time. He know how to do this, okay? So this man could really get you roped in because you feel like, oh, he's always there for what I need him to be there for. Yeah, you and who else, okay? He, he needs a master of how to manipulate time. He is the magician when it comes to handling time, okay? I'm getting high magician energy for that, okay? Camera reminiscing okay this is six of cups energy you caught up in the past and the sweetness that y'all y'all had coming along even maybe i'm telling you that's real that's true so don't think that that's not real but this man is and he feels it too but this man is who he is i need you to catch that okay five of diamonds coming through here okay You need fidelity from this man, okay? And know that you would do well in business, okay? Now, you got this man sitting here playing these games, and you get into the bag, okay? So don't think he he ain't going to expect a partnership before I could even say it. Don't think he ain't going to expect you to get in some of the coins, girl. Okay, we see voodoo mask. Also know that the friends that are around this man ain't real. They real with him. But you sitting there with the men laughing and talking, thinking, oh, these his best friends, these his brothers, this his uncle. Baby, them people know where all the skeletons are buried. And they're helping him to manipulate you. We're talking about if you move forward in this relationship, they are helping him to keep you manipulated, baby. They're sitting up there knowing that this man just came from up off top of, top of some lady's big old booty, okay? And they're going to sit there and be hey, how you doing, Trinita? <laughs> We've been talking about you all day. Look at your girl. Trinita, you know you can't keep out your mouth, boy. You talk about the girl in five minutes. Baby, that man ain't mentioned you all day, okay? He been riding ass since he left the house. Okay, don't, don't listen to them. So know that this man has flying monkeys. He got people that can help him with this deception, okay? At least five people. Four to five people, okay? Helping him with this deception, Diana, high priestess energy, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So here you are called to kind of, you know, mentor women. And this fool, you over here, girl, you over here with James Brown. And you leading women. And, and, and look, look in your closet, girl. Okay? Look in your closet, see what's going on. And you out here you know, would be called to be kind of in a, in a nice, I'm hearing even prophetic space with women, being a leader, being the one with the knowledge, okay, being the one that they turn to for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and advising, and they mess around and come over there, girl, and look in your closet, girl, and offset in there. My God, today. Child. God will generously provide all you need. 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. Please go to God for wisdom during this time because somebody's heart really is dedicated to this masculine. Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. And remember that. Remember that the love of God is, is always there. Okay, don't get lost in this man as he comes back with his conversation and whatnot. Okay, Knight of Pentacles energy. This man may come back in offering some money. During Taurus season, I keep seeing some stuff going on in Taurus season, y'all. Okay? And what he's going to do is if it, it, when he's trying to... This is the Wheel of Fortune, but I got to turn it upside down. When he's trying to land you, he's going to clear out. It's three women on this card. He's going to clear them out. So you're going to feel like, well, I haven't seen him doing anything. He doing stuff. He doing stuff. Don't, don't get it twisted. He just got them on hold. He texting those women. They ain't seen him, but he texting him. He letting them know he working hard. Working hard at landing you. Getting you in a two of cups. This is the two of cups. Okay, being very passionate about it. Because you got to remember, for all this man's uh, bad behavior, his feelings for you, he's not, he's not kidding. This is not a man that is like, he don't really want you. No, in spite of himself, he wants you. But you need, this what this what spirit is giving us for you. You cannot forget who this man is. He is who he is. Okay, six of pentacles. You can give all you have to him. 
he can give all he got to you, but he's still going to be him at the end of the day, which is the emperor, baby. This emperor sitting up here on this card is sated from food and and uh, and pomegranates and, and, and women, okay? Two of pentacles, okay? This man is crazy about you, but he's one of them, like, he likes him a fool behind, and he always going to be looking for what he's looking for. You're not going to be able to stop that, okay? Even in your high priestess energy, even in you being a woman that is extremely special to him, he will keep you private. He won't let people know different things about you, but he's going to be out here in these streets doing what he's going to be out here doing, okay? You need to notice, do not let this showing, because the man finna make a showing for your affections. Do not let it change your mind. He's very powerful. Do not fall into the seduction spells. Do not fall into the words. Keep your mind about yourself because there is on the back, the back end of this man is a high emotional cost. Okay. To you. Okay. Make it clear. Thankfulness and understanding. This man's going to come to you with graciousness and gratitude, treating you like a lady. Okay. Before we can forgive one another, we have to understand one another. Emma Goldman, I want to understand you. I want to learn more about you. He going to lay it on. Star, guaranteed success. He going to make you feel like it ain't no way this ain't what's going to go popping. Okay. Cut your cords. He may portray himself to you like he cleaning out his closet. Okay. Hathor energy. You're going to be feeling receptive. There's going to be sexual energy, okay? Period. Feeling like things are going well. Base chakra. Y'all talking about things, okay? Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Psalm 33 and 22. Keep your mind fixed on the Lord. God keeps an eye on his friends. His ears pick up every moan and groan. Psalm 34 and 15. Know that God hears you, Okay. And it's going to make sure things are in balance in your life overall. My eye energy, the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. You, and I'm hearing, you just got to keep all this in mind. This reading, I'm hearing, it is a neutral reading. This is not a directive to tell you which way to go. This is a directive to tell you what's along, whichever way you decide to go. Okay? If you decide to go forward with this masculine See, somebody would think they can go forward with him because he loves them. He, he does not. You ain't even got that wrong. He does. But he is who he is, okay? He is who it is. Who he is, okay? Each day, the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me, and through each night, I sing his song, Psalm 42 and 8. May the Lord give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Psalm 20 and 4, okay? Period, okay? This man tends to kind of be comfortable leaning on women for money, just so you know. And that's because he thinks that women think he's supposed to pay all their bills. So he can be a little bit of a loafer, I'm telling you. Uh, he does come in, okay? Hearing you offering the Ten of Cups, this man is exhausted from womanizing. And by that, I mean emotionally, mentally. And you now, you want a Ten of Cups. Okay. Eight of Wands, you want a Ten of Cups. He's knowing that you want to be made love to. He's not going to be able to just blase woo. So it's like you are a higher investment for this masculine. And he knows it. He knows it. Okay. King of Cups. He knows it. He knows he would have to be more tender. He would have to be more caring. He would have to make you more of a like centerpiece in his life. Okay. He knows that. He And he knows the type of woman you are and that there may, uh, may be other sharks circling here. Five of Wands. So he tries to really get into making love and things so that you don't want to go out with anyone else. Okay. Page of Wands. So the message to you here, okay, because this man does come in passion. And the thing is, you're so tempted to surrender to him. Somebody has deep feelings for this man. The message is here in the astral realm. This man, you have surrendered to this man in the astral. Somebody don't want to admit that in the physical. In the astral, you are already surrendered to him, okay? And this could potentially manifest when he makes his next offering. Just so you know. It's up to you which way you want to go with this. 
Um, somebody in the astral realm, whether you realize it or not, you have already given yourself to this man. All he has to do is come back and say, give yourself to me. You can do that. This man does really love you. He would try to keep you safe from his foolishness, but you would still be dealing with the seven of swords energy. It's not personal. This man has seven of swords energy and anybody around him going to have to deal with his seven of swords energy from his mama on down because that's who he is. There is seven of swords energy around this man. He is, we see womanizer energy. And what does that mean? He's manipulative. Okay. He just is. Okay. He's manipulative. He's kind of financially focused. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. So he going to want some of that. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Jeremiah 17 and 7. Okay. Walk in gratitude and know that you have intelligence and mental beauty. Okay. Um, you have so much to offer. But I'm telling you. Somebody, you are deeply in love. You are deeply in love. Gratitude once again. Immersion and intuition. You got to really be careful about getting immersed in this man. Okay. This man is very seductive energy I'm getting. Very seductive, very passionate, and very intense. And I'm going to tell you what's most important to know. This man knows exactly how to get you. He may not know how to get everybody, but because of y'all connection or y'all past, this man knows how to get you just like that okay remember this man is quite clever okay so i'm just telling you you know what you do hey i don't know girl i'm just letting you know if you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea please go ahead like share subscribe don't be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell if you want to be here every single time me and the tea team is up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages okay if you would like to make a little uh, love offer to this channel, okay, DM Tarot T and PayPal or Cash App. Like this video, like this video, like this video, and I will catch y'all in the next one.